we will now look at function cover and implicants. The definition here is let f here be a set of cubes and let v of f be the corresponding vertices for these cubes. Then the cubes in f will cover the function f if and only if the onset is a subset of v of f and v of f is in turn a subset of the union of the onset and the don't care set. Now let us take a cube function that is a cube in the cover of f that is we have a cube function here such, such that the vertices corresponding to these cubes they are a subset of the union of the onset and the don't care set then this cube function is called an implicant of f so if the cubes in f will cover our function f here then our function f can be written as f of x equals an or sum of all these cube functions to understand this better let us look at an example so we have a function in three variables x1 x2 and x3 and we call the function f so let us again enumerate the possible input combinations that we have for this function like this and then let us just define our function as follows so we have 1 1 0 0 and this would be a don't care term and then we have 1 0 1 so let us use this function as an example we first enumerate the cubes for our onset so these cubes are the set 0, 0, 0 is 1 cube, 0, 0, 1 is 1 cube, 1, 0, 1 is 1 cube, and the last cube here is 1, 1, 1. So this is our cubes for the onset of our function. And let us also write the cubes for the don't care set. So this consists of only one cube which is the cube one zero zero all the cubes here they correspond to vertices because they only consist of ones and zeros and a cube that only consists of ones and zeros is a vertice so let us write the set of our vertices here that we denoted in this way and these are given by the cube functions 0 0 0 and then we have the input which is x and x now is just consists of x1 x2 and x3 the other cube function is c 0 0 1 of x the next cube function is c 1 0 1 of x and the last one is c 1 1 1 of x so this is the vertices of our set or our cube function we can also write this as only our cubes to simplify our notation here so we just write 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 so these are our cubes so here we have the cube functions and here we have the corresponding cubes and we can also write this as our implicants x1 prime x2 prime x3 prime and x1 prime x2 prime x3 and x1 x2 prime x3 and x1, x2, x3. So if we look at our terminology, here we have a cube function, here we have the corresponding cube, and this is also our cube function, 
but it is written as an AND sum of our lattice exponents, which also corresponds to a min term because it is a vertex in our Boolean space. So here we only looked at the onset of our function, but if we go back to the definition here, we can see that the onset must be a subset of, these, of the set of these vertices, but the set of these vertices can also be a subset of the onset and the don't care set, so the union of these two sets. So if we want, we could also add for these vertices the don't care set. So we could write this set as x1 prime, x2 prime, x3 prime, x1 prime, x2 prime, x3, x1, x2 prime, x3, x1, x2, x3. And then we can add our cube function for the don't care set that we have here, which is x1, x2 prime, x3 prime. And this corresponds then to the cube 1, 0, 0. So according to the definition, both these two sets of vertices will be a cover of the function f. But so far we only looked at vertices. Our set of cubes could also be defined as, for example, 0, 0, b and 1, b, 1. So this is two cubes that are not vertices, but in order to have a cover of the function, the vertices corresponding to these cubes, they should be a subset of the union of the onset and don't care set. So is this the case? Well, if we look at 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1, which are the vertices of this cube, so 0, 0, 0 here and 0, 0, 1 here, they are both 1. And if we look at the vertices of this cube, 1, b, 1, this will correspond to the vertice 1, 0, 1, which is here, and 1, 1, 1, which is here, and both of these are also 1. So these two cubes will also be a cover of the function f. Another cover of the function f could be defined using the following cubes. So we can take b, 0, b, so this is one cube, and the other cube is the cube 1, 1, 1. So let us look at the vertices corresponding to these cubes. So the vertices for these this cube is 0, 0, 0, it is 0, 0, 1, it is 1, 0, 0, which is this one, and it is 1, 0, 1, which is this one. So these vertices are either ones or don't care in our function, and then the final cube here, which happens to be a vertex in itself, this will correspond to part of the function. And since all our ones are covered by these cubes and the vertices of these cubes, and these cubes also is a subset of the union of the ones and the don't care set, then this will also be a cover of our function. And since these cubes cover the function f, the cubes in this cover will be implicants. So here we can write this as the implicants x1 prime x2 prime and the function can also be written by the other imp implicant which is x1 x3 and similar for the next example these cubes cover the function f so the cube functions are implicants so here we can write this function as x2 prime or x1 x2 x3 
So as long as the vertices in our cubes corresponds to the one and the don't care set in our function, then we can write the corresponding cube functions as implicants in our function. The minimal cover is defined as follows. Let i be the set of implicants that covers the function f if the number of implicants in this cover is minimal over all possible covers of f then it is a minimal cover and one of our goal here is to find a minimal cover of our function f so if we look at what we had previously we gave two expressions for our boolean function so both of them used two cube functions so one of them used the cubes 0, 0, b and the cube 1, b, 1. Using these two cubes and writing the cube functions as implicants, this gives us the function x1 prime, x2 prime or x1, x3. We also wrote the function in the following way. So we used the cube that we called b0, b. And we had the cube that was 1, 1, 1, which was a vertex. And this we could write as our implicants x2 prime or x1, x2, x3. So both of these contain two implicants, which means that both of them are minimal covers. So one goal that we have when we want to minimize our functions is to find a minimal cover. But just finding a minimal cover will not be enough, as we will see soon.